Now, over the last couple of years, people have become more entrepreneurial, hundreds of thousands of them starting new businesses all over the country. You might know somebody who has gone through this or you did it yourself. New research shows student interest in entrepreneurship education also spiked. That's good news for colleges and universities at a time when a lot of undergraduate enrollment uh, is down. Uh, at many programs, many colleges around the country. Ileana Diaz is live with how the demand for being your own boss could create a collegiate comeback. And Ileana, I understand that you had a day of this training? I did. I went to the University of Tampa. I sat in on the classes and I saw firsthand how these students are learning to start their own business or buy a business. And I learned also why so many people are going back to school for this. Jermaine Brown works at the University of Tampa, but he's also a student there in the entrepreneurship program and about to graduate with a master's degree in August. I always had the, the mindset that you cannot learn to be an entrepreneur. You, it's just something that you are if you, if you have it in you. But actually going through the program, I can say that this is something that you can learn. The University of Tampa's Loth Entrepreneurship Center launched 10 years ago with the help of director Rebecca White. More and more people recognize uh, entrepreneurship is a, a pathway to realizing their personal and financial goals in life. Now the university has an innovative learning center where students don't just study, they create here. And many graduate the program as business owners. So it's a, it's a very unique and dynamic program. And it's put the University of Tampa on the map. It's one of the top entrepreneurship programs in the country, and the director says it's really a program for everyone. It's a way that you can really live your life. So what we're seeing is that a lot of students want to gain the skills of entrepreneurship and apply them in a lot of different formats. How long? This is true for Dr. Dean Kutramanis. He sat in these rooms decades ago as a student, then started his own restaurants, and now he's back here teaching. To see this university come full circle and commit to entrepreneurship is extremely fulfilling, uh, especially watching uh, the sparkle in the eyes of the students as they're preparing to launch uh, their own businesses and pursue their dreams. Because, uh, you know, I had that sparkle. A sparkle and a lesson that's now inspiring the next generation of entrepreneurs to dream big. Seeing how resilient they are, that lets me know that, okay, I'm not, definitely I'm not at that level yet, but it's going to be okay if I fall and if I fail, you know, just dust myself off and continue to keep going forward. And that's one of the biggest lessons that everyone says they've learned in that program. Hundreds of people have graduated from the program, Adrian, and the director says that about 80% of all graduates start their own companies. Wow, those are good numbers. Ileana, thank you so much. Yeah, this is a trend I do not see going away, especially in the rise of influencers and vloggers and YouTube celebrity. I mean, it's just people are doing their own thing. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.